the roots of Santa Fe's Spanish market. The book, Spanish New Mexico, the Spanish Colonial Art Society Collection, published in 1996 by the Museum of Spanish Colonial Arts, provides a detailed history of the Spanish colonial artists who settled in Santa Fe more than 300 years ago. Throughout the book, the ancestral roots of their devotion to the saints provides a blueprint for today's Spanish market artists. The first recorded artist from that time was Bernardo Miera y Pacheco, who was a cartographer, artist, sculptor, and soldier. He was born in Burgos, Spain. His father was Don Luis de Miera, who served under the Conde de Aguilar in the army of King Philip V. His mother was Isabel Ana Pacheco, whose grandfather, Don Antonio Pacheco, was governor of Navarra. When Bernardo arrived in New Mexico, he became the mayor in both Galisdale and Pecos, New Mexico. His work as an artist includes a 1789 retablo of San Rafael. The stone Reredo, which means altar screen, is currently located at Cristo Rey Church on Canyon Road. Miera y Pacheco created the Reredo for La Castrense, a military chapel that was formerly located on the Santa Fe Plaza from 1760 to 1859. Bernardo Miera y Pacheco died on April 11, 1785 and is buried in Santa Fe. Other artists from that era include Moyeno with his rendition of Christ Carrying the Cross, the Holy Trinity and San Juan Nepo Museno by Jose Aragon, and the Virgin of the Soul by Rafael Aragon. San Jeronimo was created by Fray Andres Garcia. He is the patron saint of Taos Pueblo, whose feast day is celebrated on September 30th. One of the other artists from that era is Pedro Antonio Fresquez with his rendition of Santa Ines. Francisco Kiko Delgado was one of the early 20th century tinsmiths who operated a gallery on Canyon Road. Some of his artwork is on permanent display at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. His granddaughter, Angelina Delgado, took part in the WPA, the largest government-sponsored work program during the Great Depression. In 2008, she was honored at the 75th anniversary of the National New Deal Preservation Association for her contributions to the program by President Roosevelt's granddaughter, Anna Eleanor Roosevelt, at the state capitol. Eliseo and Paula Rodriguez were married in 1935. The couple received the National Endowment for the Arts National Heritage Fellowship in 2004 for their lifelong career as artists. They were honored for their work in perfecting and preserving the art of straw applique, a technique that had all but died out during the early part of the 20th century. Often referred to as poor man's gilding, straw applique involves the layering of straw to emulate gold leaf. It was a popular art form in New Mexico throughout the 18th and 19th centuries and can be found in churches throughout the state. Jose Cisneros was born in Mexico and lived most of his life in El Paso, Texas. But his artistic presence is felt in Santa Fe and beyond, where he is considered as the premier artist in this country to have illustrated aspects of Spanish colonial history. His artwork is showcased at the Fray Angelico Chavez Library in Santa Fe and throughout New Mexico. With no formal instruction, the self-taught pen and ink illustrator created thousands of illustrations that have appeared worldwide in books, magazines, and newspapers. Cisneros received more than 80 awards and citations for his artwork, with a National Humanities Medal in 2002 being his most prestigious honor. The Arlington National Cemetery uses his rendition of a military horseman in the certificate that it awards all graduates of the U.S. Army Cason Platoon. E. Boyd was an early 20th century curator of Spanish colonial art at the Museum of International Folk Art. She was instrumental in starting the Santa Fe Spanish market. Today, hundreds of artists offer an array of artwork dating back to the time of the capital city's early inhabitants that include santos, religious images painted on deer or elk hide, straw applique, textiles, colcha, tin work, iron work, precious metals, pottery, and decorative items carved from animal bones. 
along with ramilletes, which are decorative paper garlands, and basketry. Combined with the traditional Spanish market each summer is the work of the contemporary Hispanic artists that offer all types of art, from jewelry to stained glass. This is Ana Pacheco with Threads of Santa Fe History.